What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video, your girl is here to do a project pan announcement. So I quite literally just finished um, a recent project pan. So I did um, pan tin products by October and I really enjoyed the length of that product project because I was able to low-key forget about the products, remember about the products, and actually work on the products all within that project. And I tend to forget about project pan products it's just it's a thing I do um, but I want to continue to just use the products in my collection that I already have especially in preparation for me to be purchasing again next month I really just want to continue to promote myself to use the products that I already have so if you are interested in hearing the products that I have in this project pan then let's just get into it So I have a couple of products from my previous project and then there are some new babies to this project completely. So let's just get into it. Um, there are going to be of course some that are give me products and there's going to be some that are going to be a little bit more complicated. I do have some face palettes or a face palette, no I have two face palettes, let's get it together. Two eyeshadow palettes, some uh, cheek products, some foundations. And some other things so the one gimme product is this baby right here this is my Becca skin love foundation in espresso as you can see I don't have very much product in this at all if I had about a week or so left of my um, weeks for my pro my previous project pan that was talking about finishing the 10 paint products before October I think I would have definitely been able to finish this baby I just did not have the time nor was I wearing makeup as much as maybe some other people do on a daily basis I'm just not a daily based makeup wearer especially because of these masks it's just not a thing for me so I'm positive that I will finish this up in the next three months and it'll just be another ping um and another foundation that i finished this year and i'll be really happy i've really been going through my foundations um which last year i went on a foundation kick and i'm just ready to get through the ones that i picked up last year okay so once i finish that one i really want to go ahead and target into this one which is my hue noir true hues flawless matte finish foundation and i picked this one because i've been finding that I've been using a lot of different products. So I've been using some Danessa Myricks products, one that's a hydrating primer and the other that is a beauty oil. And I feel like the combination of those products under my foundation, in addition to my glowy foundations, I've been looking a little oily, a little oily, even like two minutes after I completed my face. And I've definitely, my foundation has been looking a lot more oily overall at the end of the night, which doesn't really bother me because generally when I wear makeup, I'm at home. But at the end of the day, I think this would be a better foundation for recording. And just, I can always mix in some of my other foundations to maybe level this out a little bit because I do find this to be quite a matte foundation. Um, and I just want to get more use out of this um, foundation before it gets bad. I feel like this is the one foundation that I kept in my collection that I was like least likely to pick up just for you know enjoyment reasons so i do want to put this in there to really get the ball rolling on that next product that i have in this foundation or er, the next product that i have in this project is from mac and this is my groundwork this is my paint pot and groundwork i have been using this to cut my bottom the bottom part of my brow or cut my brow trim my brow whatever people call it um and also sometimes as i don't shadow base and i've really just been enjoying it but i want to keep promoting myself to pick this up i have yet to actually hit pan so i would love to actually hit pan in this product i didn't actually say my goals i'm sorry so i want to finish this baby up i would love love it if i could get like halfway through this i would love it so that's my goal this like i said i want to hit pan um and i don't really know the depth of this and how much i have left between where i'm at and to actually hit pan so once i hit pan i will continue to use this product no doubt um but that is just my goal right now is to actually just hit pan um 
and yeah that's pretty much it i use it to cut or clean up my brows under i don't do over cleaning up i just do it under near my eyeshadow and then i blend that into my eyeshadow base um okay so the three singular cheek products one two are actually all three of these are rollovers from my last project and first we're going to start off with Vanessa Myricks and this is her cream bronzer. I just want to get more use out of it and I also think that at winter and like the fall season where it gets a little cooler and my oily skin isn't as oily this is the perfect time to be using more layers more cream products so I think I'll be able to get quite a good amount of use from this and I actually hit pan this time and I also found a more a, a application that I prefer um, which is with my Sephora airbrush pro brush so this is the number 57 so yeah okay um, next we have my Laura Geller uh, baked gelato blush and plumberry I really want to hit pan in this baby before the end of the year so this is my goal to hit pan I've been working on this pretty religiously since last year late last year and I've just really been enjoying it so I would love to see some proof in the pudding I already see quite a bit of dips um, and a lot of the ridges are pretty much gone but I want to see some pan I want to see some real proof in this pudding I was actually gonna put in another bronzer product but you know what I think I'm gonna switch and we're gonna go for another kind of easiest product um, because I don't have too many easy give me products and this is a setting spray this is my Mac matte setting spray um and although you would think this would easily be done in like a month i actually don't use a lot of setting spray when i know i'm not going to be leaving the house and so that's why i want to pick this up i want to get my use out of it um and just move on i have quite a few other setting sprays that i could get some use out of i do enjoy this setting spray but it's you know it's it's time to move it along so this is going to be the product next and so now we are up to two four six we're up to six products um and let's get into the face products so i have another gimme product and this is another rollover and this is my kat von d shade and light palette now i don't have very much product left in this at all not at all there's pretty much no product left in here but I can tend to be one of those people who will like leave that much product for a future date and that's just stupid it's just stupid so I want to go ahead and clean her up um, and just be happy and get another full palette out of my collection and get all of the use that I can so this is another product I want to physically fully clean out that pan by the end of this project my other face palette is another one that I'm also going to get the sleeve and this is my ABH dream um, highlighter palette I've been getting a lot of use a lot of use out of this highlighter palette and I've been also focusing in on the shade magic so as you can see I have quite a nice little dip in the top little bit of this pan and I would love to see some pan I feel like it won't take too much because this is quite a flaky glittery formula so you dig your brush in there and you're gonna get quite a bit of kick up um so that's why honestly I feel like I've gotten through as much as I have um I'm not a very like hard presser but I just feel like this is a very easy formula to get through so I would love to see some progress see some pan in this palette um, and just know that I am using more products and I'm using quite a bit of my face palettes that if I'm able to get pan in that that will be the third or fourth pan in my face palettes alone that I've been able to get this year okay so now we're up to two four six Eight products um, and I got two more palettes left these are two eyeshadow palettes so we're gonna get an eyeshadow in each 
pan palette that I really want to focus in. And the first one is my Love Lux Beauty for Foiled Rose Palette. A lot of people do not like Love Lux Beauty's formula. I have not found a problem at all with this palette. I don't know if it's this palette. I don't know if it was the, the batch that I got. I don't know what it is, but I don't find any problem. And every time I reach for this palette, I reach for this metallic. Now, to my knowledge, oh, these do have names. Maybe this is called Desire. I feel like this is called Desire. Um, this is a nice, warm, orangey, pinky, metallic. Really, really delicious. Perfect for this time of year. I don't have that big of a dip, but I do have a dip. Um, and I would just love to see some pan. I'd love to really get some progress showing in this palette because I do actually reach for this palette quite a bit and I do think about reaching for this palette even more so I would love to actually reach for it so I don't think about it as much you know okay and then the last product that I got for you guys is another eyeshadow palette like I said and this is another product that will be leaving me this year so I want to go ahead and get some use out of her more and this is another rollover it is my modern renaissance now in my previous project I was focusing in on red ochre what is this primavera and burnt orange I was able to as you can see get the usage out of red ochre and even out of primavera but i did not get my pan in burnt orange and so i would love to hit my pan in burnt orange but more unofficially i would love to get um pan in vermeer vermeer is um lid shade shimmery metallic whatever shade that is like an icy pinky purple and i feel like these two metallics will work beautifully i'm gonna swatch burnt orange because that's really the one that i'm working for um but like i said unofficially i would really love to get some pan in vermeer and i'll just go ahead and swatch vermeer as well for you guys Okay, so this is Burnt Orange and this is Vermeer. So those are the two flash three eyeshadows that I would really love to really get some pan in. Um, and I think, I think, if we're thinking logically, right, we have three more months. So this is starting in October and this is going to the end of the year. Um, I know there are a lot a lot of project pans at the end of the year and I may be participating in one or two um, additionally but this is the main one that I personally want to focus in on. I think that I gave myself quite a few gimme products because like I said I know I'm going to be purchasing trading well I know I'm going to be purchasing makeup in the month of November so I don't want to like pigeonhole myself but these are all products that like I don't plan to purchase really anything in you know what I mean so like I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get through this setting spray I know I'm gonna get through this powder the foundations I'm not buying any foundations even when I start purchasing again so like things like that I'm pretty sure like these are the things that I'm gonna be getting through I think the more tough cells are gonna be these two cheap products I think trying to get pan and those are going to be some tough sells but I'm hopeful that it'll happen and yeah I hope you guys stay tuned watch around with me I'll be trying to do an update in somewhere in the middle of November for you guys just so you guys can see where I'm at because I didn't do an update in my praise um project pan I just didn't have the time but I would love to do one for this one for you guys and yeah we're just gonna say this is 10 by the end of the year so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys are enjoying my traveling in Halloween videos um, I've done quite a few already and I hope you are enjoying them um, and continue to enjoy the ones that are coming up next so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video as always black lives do of course matter I hope you guys have registered to vote and you are voting. I hope you guys are wearing the mask, staying safe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.